Let's have a look at some compound interest now, guys. And you can see I've got a formula for you on the board, A equals to PRN. Now this is going to be what we, this is the formula we're going to be using when questions are involving compound interest. Now you can see that A is simply the total amount, so if we invest money or something like that, it grows. So A will be the value after some period of time, which we'll call this the total amount. Now P is the principal amount. So whatever you start with, we'll call that the P, the principal. And R is going to be our 1 plus the interest rate. So it's not just the interest rate only, we also add 1. Because when we're compounding, it increases over time. So we have to add the 1 to ensure that it goes up. So you do 1, which is 100%, plus that interest rate. And that will be your value of R, which goes over here. And the N, of course, is the number of compounding periods. So how many periods you're going to be compounding for, that's going to be your N. So focus on the periods in terms of months, years, quarters. You're going to make sure you know what each term represents. So guys, using this formula, we're going to try some questions involving compound interest. Question one, it says that Kate invests $10,000 for, for three years in an account. Uh, which pays compound interest of 6% per annum. So, this is the scenario. First of all, what we want to find is the total amount um, at the end of the three-year period. Now, you can see that our principal is simply we start with the $10,000. That's how much Kate That's how much Kate invests at the beginning. So that's our principal, $10,000. Now, the rate is going to be our interest rate plus 1 is an R in this case, in our compound interest case. It's going to be 1 plus the interest rate. And the interest rate is 6%, so that's why I just wrote um, 0.06 as a decimal. You plus 1, and it'll be 1.06. So that's our R. And N will just be 3, because it's going for 3 years. So we're going to keep everything in terms of years. So let's try and put it into our compound interest formula that I've introduced to you, A equals to PRN, and just put the values in. So principal is 10,000, R is the 1 plus um, 0 0.06, which is 1.06, and the power will just be 3, the number of compounding periods. Just put it all into your calculator very, very carefully, and you get a value. Um, and you can see that this value is greater than that value because it has been compounded, it's increased now. So, let's do B. Find the amount of interest, the total amount of interest that she has paid over the three, that she has gained over the three year period. So the interest, we start with this and it grew this much. So what that difference must be the interest. Why did it grow? Because of the interest, guys. So the difference, you just subtract away the principal from the value that it has grown um, over the three year period and you subtract that away and the difference is going to be our interest, the total amount of interest that we get for three year period. That's all you need to do, subtract away the principal, remember that. So let's go on to question two. Um, James invests $10,000 um, th in three years in a account which pays compound interest of 6% per annum. Now this is compounding each six months. So see, it's pretty much a very similar scenario as question one, but the only difference is that it's compounding each six months. Can you see that? So each six months means each half a year. So how many half a years in one year, guys? How many um, six months in one year? There's two lots, isn't it? Because there's 12 months in a year. So there's two lots of six months in one year. Just keep that in mind. So first of all, if we want to find the total amount at the end of the three year period, first of all, the principal will just be what we started with, which is $10,000. The rate, remember how I told you that there's two six months in a year? And this 6% that they tell us is the per annum interest rate. So if I want to calculate the 6 monthly interest rate, I'll have to divide that 0 0.06 by 2, won't we? And then don't forget to add 1, we always add 1. And then that will just be 1.03 as a decimal, just trying to simplify it down before we actually put it in. And then N, remember again, 2 6 months in a year. So in 3 years, how many 6 months guys? Six, three times two, which gives us six. So make sure you change that as well. So you're going to do some conversions. Keep everything into a six monthly basis. So now let's put it into our formula, PRN. And you can see that I've replaced the th P with the 10,000. The rate is the 1.03. And the power will simply be six. And then you can just calculate it for me, guys. And that will be a value you'll get. So it's larger than what we started with. And why is that? It's because of the interest that has grown. So this links us to our next question. Find the total amount of interest for the three-year period. So you can see that it's grown. 
and as I said, because of the interest. So subtract away your principal again from the amount that we've got now, and then the difference will just be our interest. And you can just calculate that you should get a value, something like that. So that's the answer, guys. Okay, so again, very similar, just subtracting away the principal to calculate interest. All right, question three. This time, Tim invests ten thousand dollars for three for three years in an account which pays compound interest compound interest of six percent per annum. Now it's compounding each month. So this time, again, it's a very similar scenario with the similar numbers, but it's compounding each month. So. But firstly, we need to find the amount uh, at the end of the three-year period. Again, the principal is our $10,000. Now, how many months in a year, guys? Because we're doing monthly, we're going to know this. So there's 12 months in a year, right? So what we do with our rate, the per annum rate, 0 0.06, I'm going to divide that by 12 to get the monthly rate. And then don't forget to add 1. And just calculate that for me and put it into a decimal form. It's 1.005. So that's going to be our R. And guys, it's going for three years. There's 12 months in one year. So how many months in three years? 3 times 12, which is 36. So that's going to be our N. Everything will be on a monthly basis. So now we'll put it into our P our N formula. So P, our 10,000, R, our 1.005, and the power 36. Put it all into your calculator and you should get a value like this one here. Alright guys, again you can see it's grown. It must grow because it's been compounded and it's compounded by the interest. So, it links us to our next question. Find the total amount of interest over this period. Um, this is the amount that we've got now. We've started off with that much, so the difference must be the interest that has allowed this to grow. And then the calculate the difference, guys, just subtract it for me, 1,966, something like that, you should get a value. Alright guys, so that was compound interest.